ってねー Okay, so over the weekend, it was the Manila Coffee Festival. Manila Coffee Festival is an annual gathering of different coffee-related vendors. Uh, it is held normally in Marriott Grand Ballroom. Okay, so this year, um, there is a lot of good products. So for today's video, I'm going to show you my Manila Coffee Festival Brudol. First product. This is a Michael Harris coffee beans. This is natural Liberica. Uh, it's not every day that you see Liberica, right? Because the more famous one is the Arabica and second, Robusta. But Liberica has really nice qualities. The problem is with Liberica farmers in the Philippines, they don't know how to process it properly, right? And during the during the Manila Coffee Festival, um, they have samplers. So I tried it, and it is one of the best Libericas that I've tasted in the past. Sadly, this is the only one left, but luckily I got one. So yes, that is my first brudol. Okay, second is this. It's a bean sorting tray. Okay, this is a lot bigger than my Comandante bean sorting tray. Yeah, but I have a smaller one. So I thought to myself I needed to get a big one. Just in case. Right, next is this Suji Wave Dripper. It's one size 155. So um, I really like small drippers. The My most recent dripper is the Orea, but Sadly, the Orea V3 Mark II comes in one size only, the large one. So, by far, this is going to be my smallest dripper. Huh? So cute! It's a really nice color and it's a limited edition. Okay, so both the Suji and the um, sort bean sorting tray, I got them from Integrate Coffee. Right. Next is this really cute server. It's a size zero 01 server. It looks like a Hario, but it's not Hario. Um, it's from Curve Coffee Collaborators. Although the shape is the same with Hario, their main difference is this is thick. And it sounds differently when you like do that. So... I'm not sure with the quality, but yeah, it's very cheap. I got it from Curve Coffee Collaborators. This last item is the one that I'm most excited about. Do you remember the Zaza cup that Neil gave me? So, Love Ramix, um, it's, a, it's a famous coffee um, ceramic brand. Um, they actually released this. Uh, so they they released their own um, spit cup or tasting cup. Yes, I finally know what to call it. Yeah, and I can still wear it on my neck like that. Um, you know what's cool about this? So the shape is different on either sides. So this one is a straight narrow um, lip and this and the other side is a wide lip so why did they do this so when i asked the people from love ramex they told me that you use this um, lip if you want to taste the sweeter side of the coffee so you drink it like this okay and then if you want to taste the flavor notes of the coffee, you use the other side, which is the wider side. Like that. It actually makes sense, you know, because um, with, the, with the straight and narrow side, um, your nose is getting all the aromas because of the wider opening on the other side. Yeah, see? 
So you get all the aroma and then you taste it straight up. That's why you get the sweet sense. Ah, that's why you get the sweet flavors, um, sweet aspect of the coffee. Whereas if you use the other side, the coffee as it goes out of the cup, um, it is actually spread out very thinly because of the wider angle of the lip. And the part that is touching your nose is a bit constricted. So you are you are actually restricted to the wider side of the cup. So like that. Right? There is some engineering put into this. I actually want to commend Love Ramix for that. Um, I've tried it um, and it's true. Right? And very cheap. As in, um, the normal the normal like ristretto cups of like the small cups of Love Ramix maybe maybe a bit bigger than this one they go for they go for maybe 1000 pesos per piece yes and they sold this for 580 pesos only oh imagine and i and, and i actually asked them why is it so cheap? Um, they told me it's an introductory price and they're not going to sell these after the event. It's not going to be available um, in their normal stores anywhere else just during the event. So I kind of panicked. <laughs> So I got three colors. <laughs> so I got caramel, they call this caramel. And a white. And I got this, I don't know what color, what color is this, but it's a, a nice, really nice apple green. Yeah, I originally got just two because I thought I want this because I want the colorful, colorful set. And this one for, so just so I have a classic one. And then Anna told me to get one more, which is white. So yeah, I have three of these. <laughs> these are my Manila Coffee Festival Brudol. Um, how about you? What did you get during the Manila Coffee Festival? Wag na pala, wag mo comment. Don't comment down. Don't comment down below. What did you get? Baka magsisi lang ako. <laughs> That's it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. In the next videos, I'm gonna show you more about coffee. Bye! Tama, wag nyo na ilagay sa baba ko ano yung mga pinagbibili nyo kasi may ingit lang ako. Baka hindi ko yan nakita or hindi ko na-realize na gusto ko pala siya that, that day. Oh, wag na. Wag nyo na pala i-comment. Don't. Please. <laughs>